Hi, I'm Bob and Oster Help. I'm going to talk to you about problems with impulse control. Uh, this is true for many children, but also for adults. And, and I, I've worked with uh, people uh, from all ages who have difficulty uh, because they give in to their impulses. They do what they feel pressure to do from the inside at the moment, uh, rather than thinking through the effects of their, uh, their actions. Uh, and tension, I have found, plays a significant role in this problem uh, for a number of reasons. Uh, tension, first of all, narrows your focus, so you see less of the picture. You tend to focus just on a narrow piece of it. And you also tend to focus on the negative when there's tension building up. And this is explained in, in the video on, on dealing with clarifying our thinking in our minds. Um, so the, the, the focus narrows, but we have this extra energy because of the tension. And some people get exhausted from tension, but other people charge up with tension, and they have to hold it back. And this is particularly difficult uh, for children in school. And quite frankly, uh, there are a number of us, and I put myself among those, uh, who don't do well sitting still for long periods of time at a young age and uh, need to get up and move around and so forth and, and build up tension if they have to hold on to that. So uh, having some tools to be able to regulate that are helpful and, and keeping in mind the principle of balance is very important there. Uh, so when they do have to sit, uh, being able to do some diaphragmatic breathing and learning how to do grounding while you're breathing, uh, pressing down with your feet while you breathe in, relax as you breathe out, keeps the tension from building up so much. And if you're uh, able to use a, a rhythm phrase or thought focusing uh, to repeat a simple phrase in your mind over and over again, keeps your mind dwelling from uh, dwelling on things that can build up tension. I got to get out of here. I'm tired of this. Those kinds of thinking uh, actually create more tension and make it more difficult to to, to sit. So if you're able to to calm yourself down. Uh, and, and it helps you to maintain focus and to, and to learn better as well. Uh, there needs to be a balance then within activity. So when there is a research, recess uh, to make sure you're moving around and very active, probably doing some stretching or, or something physical, uh, make sure that after school there's a lot of physical activity, possibly even before school. And, um, Eating is a, is a, is a, regularly is a big part of this because when blood sugar gets low, a lot of people become kind of hyper, uh, and that can create problems. So making sure that that there's a regular breakfast, lunch, and snack, and dinner, and so forth, uh, so that uh, the blood sugar doesn't get out of whack, uh, helps a lot, uh, particularly with children with problems with impulse control, uh, sitting still in school. Um, there's also problems where people just react. Uh, in, in, uh, without thinking. And that's really the nature of stress. As tension builds up, uh, I've talked before about a spring, and as the spring has more tension, uh, it just you have no control where it goes. But if you take tension off the spring, and you, then you can choose what to do with the spring. You have more options and choices. So when you take away the tension and, and regain a sense of balance, you have more control over your impulses. Uh, people can get stuck in, in patterns that are destructive uh, because of difficulties with impulse control, too, um, uh, where they feel they just have to do something. And what's happened is the mind is narrowly focused on that. The emotions are feeding it. The emotions give us energy to act. Um, but the thoughts are feeding the emotions, and there's a lack of clarity. There's a narrow perspective on what's happening, and the ABCs are very helpful in that process because you start with balance, and as you let go of tension and you practice the techniques that, that get your body into balance, you see a, a clearer picture and a larger picture, and then you can make some choices and you can look at the effects of what your decisions might be and, and make choices about what works. Uh, and simply ask yourself, does this work? Has this worked in the past? What's the effect of this? I know I really feel like eating this or I really feel like doing this, uh, but what's the effect of that uh, over the long term? And what's important to me and what really matters? And if, if we take the time and reduce the tension so we have the time to answer those questions clearly, uh, it's easier to let go of them. Uh, now, practicing the meditation gives you the skill to let go of the thinking, because when the thinking is centered on the focus for our impulses, it's hard to, to move away from it. 
So as you learn uh, and practice through meditation, there's a, a video on meditation that describes that, but as you learn that, you can more easily set that aside and let that go and regain some balance. And uh, acceptance plays a, a significant role in that. That's part of the ABCs uh, that we're talking about. Uh, simply accepting the reality of the situation, that even though I may really crave this at this time, uh, that it's not helpful for me in the long run. Uh, and that craving is real. Not saying I shouldn't crave this or I didn't do that. That seems tends to build up the tension and increase the focus. But just accept, okay, right now uh, this is a struggle for me and a, and a difficult for difficulty for me. And then, of course, we've been talking about clarifying uh, uh, all along here, uh, trying to get a clear picture of the larger situation so we get a, a sense of the effects over time of our behavior and we're making choices for where we want to be in the future and what direction we want to keep moving in rather than choices that are based on what I feel like at the moment. Uh, because what we feel like at the moment is a temporary condition and emotions are temporary based on our perceptions of the moment. They're one piece of information, but they don't give you the whole picture. Uh, what we feel like won't tell us what, what's going to work best for us in the long run because what we feel like is only a reflection of this moment and they can't anticipate far into the future emotionally. That's something that we need to use our mind and that we can clarify and get a sense of we're moving in that direction or if the choices we're making are taking us away from where we'd like to go. So those are some thoughts on impulse control and I hope that's helpful to you.